Hey, I'm Sasha, and today I'm going to talk about developing my relationship with Osiris. I've been doing spirit work and ritual work for about five years, and I recently talked about how I met Osiris, so I will link that up here for those of you who haven't seen that yet. But today I'm going to pick up where I left off and talk about what I've been doing since to develop this really important relationship with this awesome, powerful, and kind deity. Today I did a proper journey with him. So when I dropped in and when I began greeting him and attuning to his energy, I saw him seated on a throne and the words good father <laughs> were coming into my mind like he is the epitome of a good dad he's dependable he's like even keeled he wants the best for me and he's a good resource for me like the the well of support there is deep once i greeted and attuned to osiris Isis actually came forward, also seated on a throne. And I got this sense that both of them are my gatekeepers to the north. So if you all are familiar with like Nepalese shamanism, you know that there are gatekeepers to each cardinal direction that hold sacred space for you personally. And that Osiris and Isis are the ones in my north. And for me, as those gatekeepers, they are inseparable in my north. Although Osiris and I also have another relationship that's more closely linked to death and death work. During the journey, I asked them to show them a time in my life that they were present with me. The first thing they showed me was past lives where I was directly venerating them in Egypt. Then they showed me in between lives <laughs> where I was strategizing with them about which, which life I would come into next. And then they showed me the day I was born, that they were there and that they were smiling. One of the things that I thought was interesting about my journey today with Osiris was he was showing me how he made a pact with my ancestors before I was born. And specifically, before I met Osiris, years ago when I, when I began working on my father's father's lineage, my ancestral guide in my father's father's lineage came to me as a death worker. And we spent months working on death rituals for the dead, the dying, afterlife, etc. My ancestral guide in my father's father's lineage told me that it was my purpose in life during this life to work with the dead and dying. And then a little bit later in the journey, Isis came forward and what I felt from her was this deep, deep devotion and this deep, deep caring. And Osiris said to me, just like your mother's mother's people. And then it suddenly clicked for me that my mother's mother's people do possess the qualities of Isis in that they are big, caring, devoted, hardworking, deeply loving people. And that my father's father's people do have things in common with Osiris, including death work, honor, integrity, etc. So I don't pretend to know how it all worked out, but I just got this sense that Osiris and Isis were working with my blood ancestors before I was born for the specific purpose that is my life. I asked them for another time during my life that they were present with me and they actually showed me myself at age four. It's one of my earliest memories. My mother and I were living in my grandparents' house and I opened the bathroom door and I just saw this incredible vision of Christ and bright light and angels surrounding him. And they, 
Osiris and Isis told me that they were there then too. And I don't pretend to know so much about this, but one of the one of the connections that they were drawing for me is just how Jesus relates to both Osiris and Horus. And anyway, that was a time that they were there with me. And then they also said that they were there with me the first day that I arrived in Egypt in 2006 and were welcoming me home. And then they showed me another time when I was in Upper Egypt in uh, Luxor and Aswan and how they were there with me then and proud that I was there. And then finally, they also showed me this random time where I was hanging out with friends on the Nile and that they were there with me then. This might sound kind of funny, but I actually asked Osiris, like, why didn't you make me Egyptian or Middle Eastern by blood? Because I've always felt so deeply that I belonged in the Middle East. And, and when I lived in Cairo, people would always ask me, oh, are you Egyptian? Are you Egyptian? And then I would kind of joke and say, Albi Mosri, which means like, my heart's Egyptian. <laughs> but anyway, with that question, Osiris answered to me that I wouldn't have been able to do what I have done if I were born into an Egyptian family which is true, I think to some extent. I think there are definitely, <clears throat> I think there is a little bit more rigidity or okay, maybe a lot more rigidity, especially for females born into Egyptian uh, households. Although I know several that are progressive, but that's true. And then Osiris kind of joked back at me and was like, hey, well, at least you kind of look Egyptian or you could pass. <laughs> <laughs> he said that being born with the parents I was born with and the place that I was born in gave me more freedom to become who I'm becoming for the purpose of becoming who I'm becoming and that it's all working out. Another thing that really touched my heart during the journey today was that he said to me, you belong to us, you belong, no matter what, no matter if you're blood ancestors are not Egyptian in this life, you belong to us. And then he showed me again my past lives in ancient Egypt and then in between lives with him that no matter what, a big part of my soul rests with them. After the journey today, I picked a couple of cards from the Kim Krantz archetypes deck and I just wanted to show you what I picked. So the first card that I picked is called Kairos. This is actually a card that's been coming up for me a lot recently with my clients. But so the first card is Kairos and Kairos represents mythic time. I'll just read from the book here. This card of mythic time suggests there is a secondary time continuum that goes beyond any earthly clocks and schedules. Within this non-linear realm, we access divine timing. I love that. And to me, what it, what it meant today was that, you know, even though I find myself in a very different place than ancient Egypt, <laughs> uh, although I'm still on the same planet, that um, there is a secondary continuum that is sourcing and inspiring my life and that is part or maybe all of the reason why I've come. And the second card I pulled today, which was for Osiris himself and how I could experience him was Anima Mundi, which is actually the last card in this deck of 78 cards. And Anima Mundi means the soul of the world or all that is. So I'll just read a little excerpt from, from that now. Simply put, Anima Mundi is the living soul of the world in all its multifaceted, multidimensional layers bonded together by loving cosmic forces. This card indicates an initiation on the level of the soul. You will waken to the unique light within and witness how this light contributes to the radiance of the entire universe. And then it just feels important to say that both of those cards that I pulled are part of the, the initiation section of the deck, which is the last few cards of the deck. And that is accurate because I am going through an initiation with Osiris. So I am burning some incense here for Osiris right now, frankincense and myrrh. And I'm actually gonna go make Osiris a 
plate of dinner. Uh, he requested koshuri, which I think is so fun and funny. I've, I've never made koshuri before, but for those of you who have been to Egypt or know Egyptian cuisine, koshuri is like the staple street food of Egypt. And so it takes like two and a half hours to make, but I'm very excited to make it for him today. So I will, I will leave you here with uh, some clips of the delicious food. Oh, and also I wanted to show you that I, I actually made this uh, Eye of Horus shirt and I'm also going to be selling it in my Etsy shop which I will link down below. Thank you so much for watching and if you liked what you saw please consider subscribing and liking and I will see you in the next video. Bye!